hello friends welcome back to my channel today we are going to see a simple and interesting tutorial with Arduino we are going to use a RGB LED and we'll see how we can control the lights using Arduino analog inputs so by end of this tutorial we'll be able to make different colors by giving the combination of value between 0 to 255 so let's get started If you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe, like the video, share, and comment. So to start, I'm going to use Tinkercad software. So this is one of uh, good simulation software for Arduino. So if you don't have an account, please create uh, an account and log in. And on the right side, you'll be able to see the code, simulation, and the components. So we are going to use an Arduino board, and uh, we'll be using some uh, wires and uh, an, an RGB LED so let's make the connection okay so let's drag the RGB LED to the screen okay so if you zoom uh, to the RGB LED you can see it has it have four pins so one for red one for cathode or ground and another one for green and a blue so that's why it's called as RGB red green blue so the benefits is you can control these values for red, green, blue, and you can create different colors. So let me pull a breadboard to the screen. Uh, I'm using breadboard to just uh, make a good connection because we need to have a few resistors and some wires going. So the breadboard, you can connect uh, the resistors and easy for us to connect to the wires. So let's make the first connection using the ground. can uh, select the color black because you can have different colors set for wire so easy it's easy for you to understand which uh, color is going to uh, which pins okay so from the RGB LED let's connect the cathode to the ground so we are done with that part now we have a uh, three more pins in the RGB LED so it's one for red one for green and one for blue so I'm going to use uh, the pin 9 10 and 11 from the Arduino board uh, which are the analog pins if you see the negative symbols so uh, we need to connect through and in a resistor uh, I'm going to use a resistor value of 1 kilo ohm so we need to connect those pins to this RGB LED and through these resistors so let me make those connection so this is going to green okay let's make the color for blue they said the connection is going to be the same we need to have a resistor Okay, let's uh, make the connection for red now. Okay, great so we are almost done with the connection so you can see now we are done like red green blue so all those uh, pins are connected to 9 10 and 11 through the resistor now it's time for make the code so click on the code and select text so uh, I prefer to do through text coding Okay, you can also use the block coding if you want. So in our case, the first step is to set the pin 9, 10 as output. So we have to give the pin mode as output for all these three pins. 
so that's the basic step in the void setup and uh, now we can do the remaining uh, setup in the void loop so we are going to use analog write so that means we are going to write the value to the pin 9 10 11 so we can give value between 0 to 255 so analog value we can give for 0 to 255 So what does it means like if I give uh, 255 for the pin uh, red, that means that uh, and, and other two pins as zero, that means uh, the light will be giving as output as red. So we are giving the first pin 9 as 255 and the other two analog pins 10 and 11 as 0 okay so let's try to do a simulation now if you see the light is uh, green why because uh, the pin number 9 is connected to the green pin of RGB LED and when you give 255 means that uh, value for 9 or green is uh, enabled rest two are zero so those there are no power going to those uh, pins so now let's change it okay so let's change the nine pin to zero and let's change the ten pin to 255 now if you run the simulation again we can see the light is blue that means you know we are giving the power only to the blue pin so now let's try changing the 10 to 0 and uh, uh, 11 as to 55 so now you see it's uh, giving red color so we are giving the value only for red now let's copy the same content and after a delay period let's uh, put the same values and uh, let's give it like a multi color script so first set you know we can give uh, no, one color like green or red or blue then next set we can uh, give it you know the other color so let's try that so if you see the first block code will give red now the second one i have done like uh, 10s 255 that means it give blue color well let's copy it again and this time i'm going to give green so rest two will be zero Okay, let's try to run the simulation now if you see it it's uh, changing the color right first red then blue then green why because we have a set of code keeps running it with a delay so first it's start with uh, the 11 pin as 255 then it's changed to pin number 10 as 255 and the third one uh, pin 9 as 255 now it doesn't mean that we also always have to give 0 or 255 let's try with some combination of value so it can be anywhere between 0 to 255 so let's change it you know 9 to 200 10 to 100 and uh, maybe 11 to some other value let's uh, start the simulation now if you see we are getting a different color the fourth color is a different one it's it's like a purple but I don't know that it's called as purple let's try changing the color again so we can make an n number of uh, colors using the combination now, yeah it's it's uh, more purple this time <laughs> let's try, try to put it again one more time with the different block and we'll try to give some other values now 
now if you see we are doing a simulation with a different combination so we got uh, no different color it's almost like uh, orange so we are getting uh, red blue green purple and something like orange so you can keep uh, trying with some combination of uh, values and you can make multiple colors so you can uh, do some trial and error or you can find out what a value for uh, uh, the analog input will give you which color and if you keep all values as 255 it's going to be a white so it may not be much clear here it's going to be a pure white but if you keep all values as zero the light is not going to switch on so it's going to be completely off it may looks like white if you do it in the simulation but actually it's off so this is a really a basic tutorial but uh, the concept is very good so you can make use of this concept for uh, different cases you can use multiple rgb leds you can enhance your script and you can make a lot of good projects out of this okay to summarize we have seen how to make use of rgb led to make different colors using analog right and between uh, 0 to 255 values so i hope the this tutorial is informative for you and uh, thank you for watching so kindly subscribe to my channel like the video share and comment